Devante, what's going on? Howie Roseman of the Eagles. You're an Eagle, man. We're fired up. Appreciate it. Man, we are excited to have you. How are you feeling? Good. Ready to go to work. This is awesome. I just want you to enjoy this night. And shoot, come ready to work. I, the reason we took you is because we know you're ready to work and ready to go and catch a lot of footballs. Man, I can't be more excited. Um, it was fun. I mean, it was a special moment for me and my family. So just being there with my family, then seeing my teammates there, and just other guys that I've I've known in college. The Dallas Cowboys have traded the tenth pick to the Philadelphia Eagles. With the 10th pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Philadelphia Eagles select Devontae Smith, wide receiver, Alabama. Very comfortable with him and somebody that is so silky smooth when you watch him. He's the best route runner in this year's draft. Yeah, what I love about this pick is when you add it with Philadelphia, we keep talking about Jalen Rager last year. He was this is an absolutely home run pick for Philadelphia. Milton, you ready to be an eagle, bro? Yes, sir. Are you fired up? Yes, sir. And we're fired up to get you, man. Congratulations, brother. <laughs> Milton. <laughs> so good. Hey, congratulations, man. Appreciate it. Hey, we can't wait to get you here and get to work, man. Yes, sir. It's going to be a lot of fun. We're going to have a lot of fun. You're going to make a lot of plays. The city's going to love you. Let's go. With the 73rd pick in the 2021 NFL Draft, the Philadelphia Eagles select Milton Williams. <laughs> The draft process for me was great. A lot of family came out and just being able to hear my name called by the Eagles uh, was a dream come true. What's up Eagles fans, Milton Williams here. Can't wait to get to Philly, man, and get to work. Uh, fly Eagles, fly. Jacoby, what's going on, man? It's Howie Roseman on the GM of the Eagles. How you doing? I'm doing fine, how about you? The beginning of the draft process, I didn't think the Eagles had that much interest in me. Uh, you know, I talked to them at the Senior Bowl. Uh, my agent said he talked to the guys a little bit, but after that, it kind of just went quiet. Well, we can't wait to get you to Philadelphia, man. We're going to draft you right here, man. It was one of those draft stories where you really don't talk to the team as much, but the whole time they, um, they're they doing background checks and doing their due diligence because uh, you're one of their guys. Congrats, dude. Be excited. Get excited. You're going to love it here, dude. Oh, yes, sir. I won't let you guys down. Right there. Oh, that's wild. Baby, baby. Yeah. How you living, my dog? Good, man. You need to stay out the weights, man. Yeah, man. I'm pretty slick. I mean, I mean, good food. That's all. You need to come eat what I'm eating. For sure. For sure that. That's the same. <laughs> You've been taking pictures and videos for the last three, four months. All right. Mr. Hyde. Thank you all. Perfect. Appreciate it. Yeah. So, this me right here? That's, That's you right there. <laughs> <laughs> it's official. Yeah. It's official. Got here about 11 o'clock, you know, just been, uh, you know, meeting the staff, kind of touring the facility, learning everybody's names and all that good stuff. Uh, it's pretty surreal, honestly. I don't think it's quite uh, settled in. This is actually all happening. So, you know, it kind of feels like I'm in a dream and may wake up sometime soon, but this is just a tremendous opportunity. I'm so excited to be here in Philly. Great city, great team, great history. And, you know, I'm just excited to get to work. First day was just all about like paperwork and things like that. Just getting settled in, making sure that you have a schedule, know what you're doing. And then the other days, it was just like seeing how things are and on. Well, I knew Philadelphia is a sports city. You know, it has some of the most, uh, I guess, rowdy fans. I knew I knew about that. But, um, you know, my favorite comedian is, uh, is from Philly, Kevin Hart. And then Kobe Bryant, that was my favorite uh, basketball player. He's from Philly. so. You know, it's pretty cool coming to the city where, you know, I have a lot of my favorites here. So, you know, hopefully, you know, uh, Philadelphia will embrace me and I'll embrace the city. Greg, you're going Greg. Yes, 
talk a couple times. Peter. Peter. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. I'm Craig. No, nice to meet you. Greg. Uh, see for me. Are you from Louisiana originally? No, I'm actually from Chattanooga, Tennessee. Okay. Yeah. I feel like I'm from there now, though. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> How you doing? I'm Craig. I'm Terrell. Uh, welcome. Nice to meet you. Oh uh, man, you know, the first time I got to see the helmet with the wings on it, it was surreal. You see, you know, greats wear that uh, helmet. You see, uh, the, you know, the guys wear that on Sundays. And now you have the opportunity to wear it with them. It's an honor just to, you know, be wanted in that helmet, but you still have to earn the right to wear it on Sundays. Look up. Look that way. That way. Bend down. Does that feel good? Yep. Nice. Any issues, you come and see us, okay? Yep. All right, pop that off for me. You got any questions, any issues, you come and see us, okay? Yes, sir. Okay. Remember, you have a jersey on and all that. Boom. Yeah. Feels good. Feel good, right? You can move, right? And they said love? Yeah. That feels good. Is that cool? Yeah, I like that. Oh, that's a lot better. It's a lot better. Is that cool? All right. I like that. All right. Yeah, I'll come for them for you. Uh, it, it was a surreal moment, but it's also something that tells you that it's, it's still, you know, you still got to go to work. It's not time to slack off. Two sixty-five is the max weight on that. Is it? Yeah. Two sixty-five. Just putting the eagle helmet on and seeing my uh, teammates for the first time, it was great. But we got to it. We got straight to it. All right, guys, let's get started here. Good, let's talk about culture, all right? The culture that we have. What are you getting into? What are we about here, okay? I know you guys have probably been at places too where there's not a lot of culture talked about, all right? But the best places I've been in, there's been a lot of culture talked about, all right? And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna have something that we hang our hats on, that we believe in, that we talk about every day. Man, right here is day number one. You have one opportunity to lay building blocks. Let's go to work, come on. Hey man, just one day at a time. Let's keep getting better, let's win this. Let's go family on three, family on three, one, two, three, family! Load it up! And I think it goes back to the core values and build on the values that the organization has already had. What we talk about in our core values, we talk about connecting, competing, accountability, football IQ, and fundamentals, and just build on that. Exhale, 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 yes, right there. I just believe in my gut. That is what wins football games. It's talent and that. It's, it's combined, right? Because I, I have a lot of those things. I don't have any talent anymore. So, or did I ever have any talent? But it's just building on that, building the culture that we want and coming out and winning football games. Hey, how are you? Good Great. to see you in person. You. Yeah, How's I know everything? who you are. How's the golf game? Good. It's good. going good? I played this morning. Yeah, you did? Yeah. How'd you play? Good. You look like good. you played this morning. Fine. Good? Good. Nice to see you again. What's going on? What's up, baby? How you feeling, big dog? Good. Rock it go. back. Rock it back. Rock it back. You ready to roll? Good. Uh, coach Sarian, I think he's a great coach. I think he's a player's coach, and he's ready to win now, and he's doing everything in his power to make sure that we understand that and make sure that we're competing and holding each other accountable and getting better 1% every day. It's actually hard to, yeah, to get I'm the hang of it, it. but it does the work there. You know what I'm so, saying? Stand like this. You're going to stand here because you're right handed and it's going to come back to you like that. Yeah, wait till because it does, it does, it takes a little bit to get used to. It's really the throw is more important. Because right now, if we compete at it, I'm gonna beat you like I beat you on the thing. I mean, it's great. I mean, he's the ultimate competitor. That's um somebody that you'll want to go to war with. That's the type of coach that you want. Somebody that's gonna be a competitor with you. Somebody that wants you to get better and somebody that loves the game. Say hit. <laughs> Catch and tuck, catch and tuck, catch and tuck, catch and tuck. Squeeze, squeeze the air out of it. If the outside release to me, boom, boom. What's the twin ball? Got it. Jump it. There you go. That's it, Jacoby. Let's go. Skill, guys. Ball security. Let's go. 
Every little detail. Here we go, Kenny. Ah, no way. Get that one on tape. Hey, that's a good ball there. Strip the ball. Strip it. All the drills you guys are doing, he's arming you with tools so you can hit the ball. So pay attention to the little details of that because that's the game within the game for you guys in the box. You know what I'm saying? Here we go, bring it up. Right here. All right, guys, hey, just important that we know the tempo. That's the biggest thing. We got to be all be on the same page tempo-wise because we got to know how to practice, okay? So that's the only thing I got for you today. Landon, break us down. Hey Kenny, uh, wondering how much over the last couple of weeks you've been able to get into the playbook and what specifically about it do you like so far? Um, I love the way that, you know, it's, it's, it's set up for, it's set up for playmakers. It's set up for a guy to come in here and, and like put in that work. It's, it's, it's not easy, but you got to come in and put in that work and stay the hard. Have they given you any indication what they want to see from you this weekend and, and even beyond? Yeah, so I mean, just like I said, we're just basically all just been taking it one day at a time, um, you know, getting this playbook installed for me, you know, uh, learning the terminology, learning the scheme, and, and getting adjusted to that and really getting my feet wet and showcasing my skill set, and yeah, we're going to take it from there. What is the excitement level for you and the sense you get from the other rookies and draft picks this weekend? Right. Uh, yeah. Um, excited to be here. Like, that's, I feel like that's the vibe of I'm getting from all the rookies. Like we've already uh, created uh, connections with each other. So that's that's been great. And uh, we're just here to, to learn and from these coaches, meet these coaches and learn from them and to help us become better football players. On the last day we had a cookout and they had some Eagle legends that came back and gave us a lot of uh, pointers and information about those guys' career and what they did to get to that point and how great the fans are in Philly. But if you give your best every single day, and when Harold, when I came here in 1977, you know, Harold was a seventh round draft choice at the Southern University. He's a Hall of Famer, guys. He's a freaking Hall of Famer. Give him a round of applause. You're meeting guys that were superstars in the city of Philadelphia. And so the things that they're telling you, uh, how they uh, lasted 10 to 15 years, those are the things that you listen to because at the end of the day, you're striving to be like them. Mike Quick, I talked to him for a little bit. He just told me, just keep my head down, man, and just work. Everybody always gonna have something negative or positive to say, so you can't really just pay attention to it. But just put your head down and work and everything will be all right. The people here love the Philadelphia Eagles, and you will see that. It's different, it's just, the passion that they have here. It was great, I mean, just hearing the things that they did and the stuff that they accomplished, I mean, it makes you want to get to where they are. So, I mean, they dropped some knowledge on me. I mean, I soaked it in, just sitting there talking to them. I mean, just enjoying their their stories that they had to tell. And I mean, they gave me some things that I'm gonna keep with me and that I'm just looking forward to. Oh man, it's a great situation for me because like I said, I feel like I can learn a lot from these guys that have been here. They played a lot of ball and they got a lot of experience and they know there's nothing about the game of football that they don't know. Today, really just kind of getting on the vets, on G, Quiz, those guys. I mean, just picking their brain, seeing the things that they do, watching them, the way that they do things, just trying to soak up some things from them. You know, I, I was familiar with some of the guys on the roster like Jalen Hurts, you know, I played against him a couple of times on the uh, defense side of the ball. I mean, you, you, you always know uh, uh, Big Fletcher Cox. I mean, you can't miss him. He's so big. But, uh, you know, when you walk into the locker room for the first time and you see those names across uh, their lockers, you're like, well, you, you're really with the big boys now. So you kind of got to put your big boy pants on and get ready to work. To have good players that the league knows about and that the players that are coming in know about the success that they've had on the field and then be able to have that leadership that those guys have, that's special and that's how you that's how you build a team, right? You know, and we can only do so much as coaches. It really takes players with that type of reputation to be able to promote your message and believe in your message and get it to spread throughout the team. 
just being able to pick those guys' brain, be in a meeting with them, lift with them, run with them, practice with them. I think uh, some of the talent, IQ, and those things will rub off on me, and the future is really bright.